and I'm so glad, I'm so glad to be with all of you tonight. And first of all, are we not so lucky to have someone with the passion and the guts of our public advocate, Tish James. Let's give it up for Tish James. I am here for many, many reasons. One is that I had the privilege to serve as a member of Congress. I went to Washington, and I'll tell you why I'm no longer a member of Congress. Because I refused to vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and I voted to keep contraception coverage in the Affordable Care Act, and that was my undoing in the most Republican district in the state of New York. I took that, I took that position on a principle, because I could not turn my backs on the women of my district, even if they would not vote for me, I could not turn my backs on them, just like you are not turning your backs on the people of this country who need your voices. We need all of you. Because there are people in this state even, upstate New York, who do not have the ability to gather like this. Because there are parts of our state where they still think that the Affordable Care Act is something bad. They actually think that Planned Parenthood is something bad because I'll tell you, they've been brainwashed by conservative media news outlets and we are the ones who have to speak the truth here in New York City to the rest of the nation. And that's what we're doing here tonight. Woo! That's exactly what we're doing. We will speak truth to the nation. We are down to the final hours. We lost one battle. We lost in the House of Representatives, but we always thought that the United States Senate would come to their senses and not steal and take away rights that we have hold cherished in this nation since 1972. We want to make sure that there might even be a few enlightened Republicans on the Senate side, the women on the Republican side that we are counting on because the fate of the women of this country are in their hands. We must keep fighting. We must keep fighting. And I look out in this crowd, and I'm, if you close your eyes, this could be 1917, when women 100 years ago fought to make sure that we had a right to vote. And what are we doing with that vote, ladies and gentlemen, 100 years later? We are gonna vote to make sure that we have representatives in Washington and in Albany who understand we need to protect access to women's health care, access to the right to choose, and it starts with the power at the ballot box. Now some people looking back to the last November election, and I'm sorry to bring up such a bad night, a bad memory, but I'll tell you, tell you, some may think that hope died that night. I'll tell you what died that night. Complacency died that night. We will no longer be complacent. We will not be bystanders in our democracy because as you see the fight we're having right now to defend Planned Parenthood, the stakes could not be higher. So if you sit on the sidelines in November, you will never do that again, I guarantee it, in your lifetime. Because look what happened. Look what we end up in our nation's capital. Now we have to rededicate ourselves to righting that wrong and making sure we have people who understand our values, who will fight to protect women even when they cannot be here at rallies today. Those are the people that we fight for and we'll continue to fight for and we'll never stop fighting for because that's what we do in this great country. That's what we do in this great city. We will not stop. We will not be silenced. This is our country and we're going to take back our country. And it starts with protecting Planned Parenthood. It starts with protecting Planned Parenthood. We win this battle, ladies and gentlemen. We win this battle. It'll send a message all across the nation that they have gone too far this time. And so, tonight you leave here. And I don't care if you're 
legs are so tired you can't march another step. Or your voices are so tired you can't speak at another rally. Or your fingers are too tired you can't send out any more social media messages. Just do it anyhow because the fate of your country and the people of this great nation depend on it. We are counting on all of you. Thank you very much.